Number 45. At what wind speed does negative 10 degrees Celsius air cause the same chill factor as still air at negative 29 degrees Celsius? All right, so this is one of my favorite problems of the book. Why? Because we just have to look it up in a table and we're done. So here's the table. Uh, these values right here that I'm going to highlight in yellow basically uh, represent the chill factor. Okay. All right, over here, let me change the color there to yellow. That represents the chill factor. Uh, this column over here will represent the moving air temperature. All right. So basically it says uh, the, the moving air temperature in this problem is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. Because that's the, uh, that's the temperature that the air is actually at. And this degree air is moving at a certain wind speed, causing then it to feel like negative 29. All right. So basically I'm going to now look up in the table where the moving air temperature is negative 10. I'm going to locate then where it has a wind, uh, excuse me, has a chill factor of negative 29. And then the top part here correlates then with the wind speed at which um, that chill factor occurs at. So basically the answer to this question is then 10 to 10 meters per second. And that should make sense, right? You know that if you had uh, if you were to like blow on your skin or you're in the breeze or uh, in the wind, you know you feel cooler, right? So the uh, breeze helps actually increase the rate of evaporation, and therefore basically pulls uh, heat energy out of your body. But anyway, not to belabor the point, the answer here is 10. Hopefully that helps. Guys, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.